Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to generate a CSR and CSID. What is the CSID? CSID is a cryptographic stamp identifier. It is required for integration with the electronic invoicing portal that is managed by the Saudi Arabia Tax Authority. Also, submission of electronic invoices. CSID links the easiest unit. Also, it will confirm the seller's identity. Also, it will be used to call the compliance APIs and performing compliance checks. You have to add the compliance CSID as a request header when calling the required APIs. How to generate the CSID? As per the ZCAS onboarding process, you must submit the CSR to get the complaint CSID. What is the CSR? CSR, it is the... How to generate the CSID? As per the ZCAS onboarding process, you must submit the CSR to the Fatura portal to get the complaint CSID. How to generate the CSR? CSR it stands for Certificate Signing Request. It includes information such as common name, organization name, VAT number, country, etc. You must submit this CSR from the EGS unit as a part of the first time onboarding of the device or during the renewal of a device using OTP. The CSR is an encoded text and submit to the e-invoicing platform. The ZK Certificate Authority will use these details while creating a CSID. It also contains the public key that will be included in your CSID and is signed with the corresponding private key. What the information it will be includes in CSR? It will be common name, easiest serial number, organization identifier, organization unit, organization name, country name, invoice type, location of the organization, industry. This, using this information, we will generate the CSR and we will submit to the Fatura portal and we will get the CSID. Let us see in action. This is my postman request. Here is the, my web service URL and post request. The web service URL I will provide in the description area. And in the body, as a JSON format, provide the basic information about the organization. If you click that submit or send button, you will get the response. It's like CSID and CSR certificate generation and private key and one secret key. In the above JSON, you will see the mode is 0. 0 stands for developer mode certificate, 1 stands for simulation mode certificate, 2 stands for production mode certificate. And how to use in C sharp, I will explain you. This is my Visual Studio C sharp application. I am using Visual Studio 2022. And I have created a user controller and this is the basic information I have provided. And this is my CSID generate button. These are the information I am passing.
I'm going to submit. This is my web services response. And here is the web services URL. Let us see it in action. Here now I can choose the developer mode or simulation or production and OTP. Just I will click on the CSID. This is my CSR certificate for the developer mode and it is a primary private key. This is the public key or the CSID and here is the secret key that's all